what does a hunger and thirst for righteousness mean? You see, for example, a person, any of us may at a particular time say, yes, I'm a bit thirsty for a little bit of water, or I don't mind having a little snack and right now, I'm hungry for it. But how much would you be willing to pay for a glass of water? If a glass of water cost 100,000 rupees, would you be that hungry? Or if a little snack cost 100,000 rupees, would you be that hungry to take it? You'd say, no, well, I'm not that hungry to pay 100,000 rupees for a glass of water. But consider, if you were a person who had been wandering in the desert for seven days and your whole body is dry and your mouth is dry and you're about to die of thirst, boy, you'd be willing to pay 100,000 rupees for a glass of water. That is thirst. And you'd be willing to pay for food any amount because you're dying of hunger. So the type of hunger and thirst that Jesus speaks of here is a desperate hunger and thirst that wants to be righteous at any cost. Not righteous if it's convenient, if it doesn't disturb any of my plans. For most people who sit in church, even who listen to messages of holiness, they want to be holy if it doesn't disturb their plans, if it doesn't ruin their ambitions for the future, if it doesn't hinder them from marrying the girl they want to marry or the boy they want to marry. They want a righteousness if there's not too much of a price to be paid for it. So when you offer them righteousness, if their quest, first question is, what's the price? Then you know that they're not really hungry. A person who is thirsty or hungry desperately will not ask what's the price. He said, give me that water, I'll pay water, I'll give you everything I have because I'm dying. That is the meaning of seeking God with all of our hearts. 